Hi, the Bodhi Pendus with DIY Home and Garden Projects. Today's video is special because I'm going to talk about the tools I didn't know I needed to become a woodworker. So I've been doing this for about three or four years now. And when I first got started, I had a saw, you know, I had a couple of other screws, I had some drills, I had a couple of various things. I said, hey, I can get along and do this just fine. But I'm gonna talk to you today about the things I didn't know I needed, and therefore I've got them now. So let's get going. Now this list I'm gonna share with you today is kind of personal. These are things that I didn't know that I needed. Other people have different knowledge and experiences. They may know they needed some of these, but you may find that this is a perfect list for you too. So first on my list is something, I didn't know enough about woodworking, so I got the joint book. It is great. This makes a wonderful tool and reference list. If you're trying to build stuff and build furniture, you want to know about the joints, you can get this on Amazon. I'll have a link below. Second tool is a flush cut saw. This is a saw that you use after you put your dowels in to cut them flush with the surface. Excellent, cheap, inexpensive. This is perfect. Third item is little square frames or clamps or a vise to hold down four corners of a box or anything that you're building. You always need an extra hand in the workshop. These are perfect. Ear protection. You always need ear protection. At least so you can drown out the wife when she thinks that she can talk to you. This is great in the shop. Protect you for all those high winds of the motors and table saws and stuff. These are dowel points. You use these when you have a dowel hole to mark the complementary side of the wood by pressing this little point in to make sure you have your hole centered and just right. The next item is a caliper. So when you're trying to make exact and precise measurements, having something that can tell you exactly the width of a board or something, whether you want it in millimeters or inches, you can set that and it's absolutely fabulous to be able to be precise in your measurements. A Craig jig is one of the most useful for a new woodworker because the joinery of a Craig jig is quite simple. This is a Craig Junior. It has the two holes set here. It has the drill bit for drilling the pocket holes and it has a drill bit for screwing in the screws for the joinery. You'll use this a lot. This is a really an essential tool and I didn't know I needed it at all. Next are bread point drill bits. These are very inexpensive. I think I got all five of these for seven or eight dollars. They had the points on them so when you set it on the wood it doesn't drift. You can always make a little nick in the wood for a starter hole, but these bread point drill bits are superb for making exact holes where you need them. This is my favorite. These are called one, two, three blocks. Why? Because this measurement here is exactly one inch. This measurement is exactly two inches. This is exactly three inches. So you get two of these. I always use these when I'm measuring anything from one to six inches because they're very precise and they're milled to perfection. This is a plug cutter. So one of the things that you'll find as you use pocket hole screws or dowels, sometimes you want to have some custom dowels. And so here's a couple of walnut dowels. Here's a couple of oak dowels that I made with this plug cutter, cut up to three inches. This is perfect. It's a lot faster than trying to drill a hole and hammering it through there. For those burn marks on your boards after you saw it, a card scraper. 
I didn't know what a card scraper was till a very good craftsman told me about using it instead of sandpaper. It's more aggressive than sandpaper, but not as aggressive as a plane. This is where you'll see a lot of woodworkers use to get a nice smooth surface before they actually use staining. This is one of my favorites, the glue bot. If you do any glue ups, being able to squeeze glue out in a vertical position is key. Only eight bucks. The next item I thought I had enough of, and that's clamps. You know, I had about eight of these small little clamps, and they're great for doing all sorts of little clamping materials and stuff, but I actually really like these F-style clamps because you can screw them tight and they're set right to what you need. But what I didn't realize is I was gonna need some bigger clamps, two foot, three foot clamps. As you can see over my shoulder over here, I got a whole wall of clamps now. I really didn't know I needed clamps when I started, but I do now. The next item is a block plane. You'll find that this is the Unitarian tool in a woodworker shop. You always have to chamfer an edge. So in other words, when you build something, you're gonna take your block plane, just round over the corners. That's called a chamfer. And that way, all your sharp corners are have a nice smooth edge to them. You'll find this is quite useful in the wood shop. A wood vise. A wood vise is something I didn't realize that I would need. But you buy this and you put in, search your own wood, it's about 20 bucks. And it'd be able to hold your wood to be able to plane it, be able to sand it, to paint it, to clamp it, to whatever you need to do. You'll find this is quite useful. So last item on my list is dust collection. You think this bucket is full enough? You could never fill this up. You know, four or five boards on my planer, I gotta empty it out. You'd be surprised how fast you can fill up one of these things. I got this as rocker. It's well worth the bucks. Vacuum, you need a vacuum. This is my second vacuum that I've had in my shop. Here's the last tool I didn't know I needed to become a woodworker. Alexa, play the woodworker song. Here's the woodworker by Falling Up on Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. You can't work without your music. You gotta get you one of these Amazon Echoes. They're really cool. You can talk to it, tell it to play, tell it to stop. You'll find a lot of entertainment in your Echo. So I hope you enjoyed our tools, particularly ones when I said, didn't know I needed this tool to become a woodworker. I'm sure you've got some others. If you'd like to share the tools that you think that you didn't know you needed to become a woodworker, leave me a comment down below. Be sure to enjoy this. I'll have a list of all these tools in a tool list below in the show notes, so be sure and check it out. So if you like this list, hey, be sure and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, consider subscribing down below. And as usual, come back and see us real soon. This video is one of three in my series referring to woodworker tools. This one is called tools I didn't know I needed to become a woodworker. I have a second one called 15 tools under $15. And the third one is going to be gift ideas for woodworkers. So you'll be sure and like that one or watch that one or send that one to your wife to have her buy you the tools.